Welcome to some booty work. All you need today is a three or two pound weight. If you don't have one of those weights, that's okay. You can still do all these moves. Grab your mat, let's go. All right, let's go ahead and start on our hands and our knees. Make sure those knees are stacked right under those hips. Pull that belly button in. All we're gonna do is extend our one arm and opposite leg out and set them back down. Do that on the opposite side as well. We just want to start waking up those glutes. Reach long with those toes. Reach long with those fingers. Now next one, let's hold it out. Hold, set our hands down, little circles. I want you to feel it right in that hip socket. So that knee is straight but not locked and you're just waking up those glutes and set it down. Opposite side, reach, set that arm down, nice little circle. Give me four, three, two, set it down. Now we're gonna sit back in those hips, leaning our hips to one side, feeling the stretch. Bring it back up center and take those hips to the opposite side. Press. And back to center, back to those bird dogs. Reach, set it down. You should start feeling those hips wake up, feeling those glutes engage. Next one, let's hold it. Set those hands down, back to those circles. Can you make them a little bit bigger? Pulling that belly button in. Those core muscles are going to be your secondary. They're your support today. Set it down. Reach out with that opposite arm and leg. Set that hand down into those circles. You feel the heat start to build? You should. And hold. Set it down. Sink back into one hip. Back to center. And the opposite hip. Get the nice stretch going. And back to center. Go ahead and grab that weight. We're gonna place it around behind one knee. Come down to your elbows here. Lift up the leg that has the weight in it. Flex your foot at the top. Press into your heel here. Now, Abdominals are engaged. They're your support for your low back. We're going to bring that knee in towards our chest, pointing our toe down and then push in and push. So point the toe, flex the foot at the top. Keep it going. Feel your full range of motion right here. How high can you go while still keeping it in the glute? Now let's hold at the top. Hold, little pushes, up, up. It comes from your heel right here. You should not be feeling this in your low back. If you feel it in your low back, you might be going too high for you. So I want you to come a little bit lower. Up and hold. Isometric right here. No movement. Getting that fire going. We're going back to this full range. Ready? Here we go. Down and then push. It's not about how high you go. It's about the squeeze at the top. It's mental here. Inhale. Exhale, control the flow. Now at any point in time, you can drop your weight. Let's hold at the top. We go half and push. Little pushes. Ooh, feeling the glute. Strong glutes. Help with those low back problems. They help with balance. So 
supporting everything we do. Up and hold it. Hold, embrace the shake. I don't know about you, but I'm shaking. We're going back to those full range movements. Here we go, bring it in. And back up. Almost done with this side. Next one, hold at the top, hold. Flex that foot, little pulses for four, three, two, one, release. Release that weight. Sit back in those hips. Press into your hip here, get that stretch. Breathe in nice and deep. Come on up, grab that weight. We're going to the other side. Bring it down. Make sure that weight's secure behind your knee before you do anything. I don't want you to drop it on yourself. Find the balance in your elbows. Square those hips up. Lift up through your heel. Start to wake up that other glute now. Abdominals are tight. We've got full range motion. Here we go. Down. And press. Inhale, exhale. Now the leg that just worked is now stabilizing you. So you might start shaking a little bit earlier. Keep it going. Abdominals are pulled in. Remember, they're your secondary. They're gonna support that low back. Take it up, hold it there, hold. Flex into that foot. Press into that heel. Little pulses. Lift. Isometric hold. That's right. We're doing those same three movements. Full range, pulses, isometric. On this side as well. Ready? Full range. Here we go. Push. Point those toes and then flex at the top. Putting energy out through that heel. You ready to hold at the top? Yes. Here we go. Hold it up there. Hold it up there. Little pulses. Little pushes. Square those hips up. We're not trying to lean open here. We're just pushing that heel to the ceiling. Waking them up. Well, they're probably already awake by now. Hold it, hold it, isometric. Belly button strong, shoulders are pulled down away from those ears. Almost there. You got one more set. Back to full range. Flush it out. Keep it going, almost there. We have those pushes up. You have an isometric and a few full ranges. And we move on. Hold, tiny little pushes through that heel. You ready to hold? Right here, hold strong. Come on, come on. Four, three, two, back to full range. Give me one more. And set it to the side. Sit back in those heels. You are done with your weight. We are coming down to the mat, all the way down onto one side. You're going to pull those knees up, so you are 90 degree at the hip, 90 degree at the knee. You're going to glue those toes together. Core tight, strong. Open the knees. Lift, lower, open. 
So right there, that's where you're feeling it. Right away, especially after those kickbacks. Now your goal here is that when we open, we don't roll back. We stay stuck with those hips, one right over the other. Sometimes it helps to put your hand there, feel those abdominals support you. Next one, we're gonna hold it down, hold, lift those toes, same movement. Here we go, open, should be more intense. You guys see the shake? It's real. But those abdominals are supporting you. That arm can be your kickstand right here. But remember, this is the work. Hold it up, hold it, hold it. Little shake, little shake. Woo! Give me four, three, two. Slowly lower, slowly lower. Bring that top leg down, little stretch. Tiny stretch. You can kind of get your knuckles in there. Pull that top leg back down, knees come back up. Feet are up, core strong. Open those knees. We start from the top this time. You ready? Here we go. Down, lift. You guys, you're almost there. Almost there. Hold it open, hold it open, hold. Good, now we're gonna take those legs and we're gonna drop the bottom leg down. Top leg's gonna come parallel to the floor. Just let it hover right there. Oh, dang! From the knee, little circle. Draw a little circle. The smaller, the more controlled, the better the burn, right? It's right there. Give me two more. And last one. We're going to flip over. Because we have to be even, right? Right. So bring it on over. Other side. Pull those knees up. Find that kickstand. Here we go. Open. Now how high you can lift that top leg depends on a few things those glutes and your flexibility and your muscle your skeletal system you might not have that full range of motion but that's okay lift as high as you can feeling it right in those glutes now hold it down lift and open You have this move and one more, and you're done. So make it worth your while. Abdominals are strong. And hold, hold it, let it shake. Yes, four, three, two, little rest. You can kind of dig in there. Ah, that feels good, right? Set it back up. Pull those knees up. Lift those toes. Open that leg. We start from the top. Core tight. Here we go. Down, lift. Keep it going. We're here for a reason. We have to remember why we came, why we hit play. It is not so we can stop. No. Hold it up. Hold. Shake. You guys see my legs? Take that bottom one down. Take that top one. Hold it. Tiny circle. Oh, that was really too big. Make it smaller. Tight here. In that belly. Control the circle from the hip. Mine's not really a circle. It's more of like a square and a triangle had a baby. Three, two, 
one stretch. Right there. Get after it. Now we're going to roll all the way over onto our stomach. Bring those hands down. Bring those feet up together. Flatten up those feet. Open up those knees. So your knees are pressed to the edges of your mat. Your feet are flexed. Your heels are pressed together. You're gonna lift your knees up off the mat. Relax your upper body here. Just keep those knees off the mat. Squeezing through the glutes. Lift, lift. Now when I say squeeze your heels together, I mean press them. Like there is cash money between those heels and someone's going to yank it out and take it away. The harder you press into those heels, the more you're going to feel it in those glutes. Now it's not how high you lift here. Sometimes if you lift too high, you can feel it in your low back. I want you to keep it in those glutes. Now we're going to hold it here. Hold. And we're going to extend out a little bit and pull it back in. Keeping those knees up off the mat. Press and pull. Little push up. Back to that pulse. This is where you guys finish. You're halfway. Almost there. Relax your shoulders. And hold. Isometric. Right here. Now my knees are like an inch off the mat. And it feels like fire. So remember, like I said, it's not how high you lift. Pulse it out. Little push. Now just because we're laying on that belly doesn't mean it's relaxed. Those abdominals, they're strong. They're supporting you. Up and hold, and little press out. And pull it in. Press. Squeeze those hammies in. Hold it, hold it. Push. Three, two, and one. Release. Oh. You're all done. Let's flip over onto our backs. Oh. Now I want you to pull one knee to your chest, letting the other knee go out to straight, slowing your breath, letting your hips relax. Now we're going to take that leg that we have bent and we're going to take it across our body, taking the opposite arm out, stretching long, feeling the hip through the, the hip through the stretch, the stretch through the hip, keeping your shoulder blades down, relaxing your face. And let's switch sides. Bring it back center. Pull the opposite leg in to that chest. And then we're going to take that leg across body. Opposite arm comes out straight. Mm, that feels nice. Breathe in nice and deep. And on that exhale, bring that leg back to center. Grab behind the knee and pull yourself up to a sitting position. And back to center. Cross those legs in. Just sitting cross-legged. Oh, you should feel the stretch right here. But I want you to take that chest and turn it towards one knee and then bend down. 
Feeling the stretch all the way from your glute to your low back. Keeping that opposite hip down on the mat. Walk those hands center and then roll it on up. And we're gonna do that on the other side. Bring that chest down to your knee. Think about the hard work you just put in. It was only 15 minutes, right? That's doable. Bring it back center and roll it on up. And you guys are all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful day.